Okay, so this year I'm trying to do the Texas Water Safari, so I'm, which is a multi-day canoe trip. I'm planning on sleeping on it. Uh, if you want to look that up, you can. Um, but in any case, I need a really just an ultralight tent for that. So I made one myself, and this is the result of that. Um, basically the materials my own design i didn't write anything down or really measure anything other than really roughly with a tape measure at the starting uh, and the rest just kind of pieced it together um as i went so it came out better than i thought it would it's by far not perfect so if you like to criticize sewing and things like that then uh hey you're gonna have some have a good time here but um this is uh the fabric is from quest i think i got it from quest uh and um it's their lightest silk nylon th that they make and i don't remember the weight but it's super thin and light it's just and it's extremely slippery makes it really hard to work with but um uh, anyway it seems to be working i'm going to test it here in a minute um, where it's already, I already slept in it one night here in the rain, uh, just a light rain. That wasn't anything severe, so and I hadn't seam sealed it yet. Um, and the netting is uh, their super, like their ultra lightest, whatever bug net, no seam bug netting. So anyway, I don't expect to spend a whole lot of time in it, um, but it exists and it's barely big enough for me to get in. I would not want to like do a long backpacking trip with it or anything um it's not built for comfort it's built for being as small as possible for me to get in it and be mostly dry um some things i might add to it still are you can see the zipper is made on a diagonal and i probably should i that was so that when i unzip it i wanted it to kind of fall out of the way because i knew it was going to be really hard to get in and out of it through the zipper and I know that's really unconventional that people put that at the end and that sort of thing, but this thing is so short, I am not trying to crawl through the end of it. Um, I just want to come in and out the side. And the top of the zipper, well, it's a it's a waterproof zipper, um, but the the stitching and the edge of the fabric on the downhill side, because I cut it on the angle, it's going to have a downhill side and it'll run in through there. So only about the first foot, less than the first foot is actually over top of the, you know, the sleeping portion of the tent. And um, because of what this is designed to be used for, I'm just going, I'm gonna to have to add a flap over that top foot or so to shed rain off of there and then seal that up and, you know, do the best I can. Right now we're gonna test that out and I'm gonna spray a hose make some hose rain with it um, and and check that out but uh, how it performs right here but you, but there is a little hole right at the top you can see right there so water will collect here and go down in that um, so at the bare minimum that needs to be taken care of um, anyway so I need to add that and when I was in it the in the wind was blowing the it's kept blowing into me quite a bit and if i added a tie out right here in the middle of the back side it will be much um more roomy in there and keep that off of me so i may add a tie out in the middle um one down down low which would mean an extra stake if i did that or just a stick probably in that case and then another um another one uh in the middle you know just in the middle right here and then I can pull that out away from me and get a, a bunch more room. Of course, these are these are wooden. Uh, I'm at my parents' house in Virginia, so this is. Um, anyway, I'm going to order carbon fiber poles for this. This wood pole, just to get the measurements and uh, for the height, and you know, give me something to test it out with. So don't worry, I will not be carrying wooden poles around. Um, but anyway, so some of the details of it. The only stitching that goes through the top of the tent is this that sews the bug netting directly to um, the tent itself um, 
and this is what my reinforcements look like and just you know it's just uh some uh, seam repair or uh, repair tape that is that green color um on each side which would not stick to this fabric by itself and so then i sewed it on top of their um reinforcements here and you can see I made bathtub floor style and then just simply just sewed the bug netting um, to the outer fabric on on that side and then down here the bathtub floor goes around and um, you know you can see so it's staked in on this side not staked in on that side because the top of the tent covers and takes care of that and um yeah so that's just sewed onto itself and then to the floor all the way around and then it's sewed up at the top going all the way across and i added a little more of this extra down here to give me a little more height on the tent instead just using one piece of fabric um I see I'll show inside here I have to kind of do this all right so unzipping I have to start it unzipping um the two hands but then, it, then it'll go kind of by itself you know I'm only doing this with two hands on it so anyway so the idea was that this would then fall out of the way and I'd be able to get in and out of there without spreading stuff. Especially if I wanted to do a stake over here on this side, which would make it easier to zip and unzip. But if I wanted to tie it out here and have the two, then I would just have this opening here and this would stay and cover what it was ever under there. But I don't think I'm going to do that. And then inside here, you can see... Inside, you can see it's got a curved zipper that goes all the way. Sorry about my awesome camera work, guys. Uh, it goes over there. It curves around because I didn't mark it out or pin it. I just sewed it to the netting before it was attached to the tent and just went for it because that's the amount of patience I had for doing this. But, uh, you know, it looks good for just going for it and there you go get in and out like that I'll show you get in and show it I got my winter coat on, so it's kind of big in here. Okay. So if you're claustrophobic, this is not the tent for you. I'm six feet. And this is how big it is inside you know it's for keeping the rain off me in a pinch it is not for living in so I will not be sitting sitting uh, up or anything like that this, uh, So, so far I can see I've got a stress point here that I need to um, address. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to put some, probably some of that repair, repair, ta repair tape over this here and then sew through it to uh, reinforce that. This has been sitting out here for almost two days. I did do seam sealing on the on this edge on the top and back. So 
I'm going to test that in a minute. Um, but anyway, you can see, you know, if we pulled this out here, that that would give quite a bit more room. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure what else to uh, show you. I got another video coming out of a tent I made that's much bigger out of a tarp last year. Okay. So I guess we'll go do the, the water test on it. All right, so I'm gonna go hook the hose up and run that. And uh, you'll see what you see. Still recording. All right, so anyway, you can see it came through the hole here and went onto the netting here. And I got one drop down there, you know, a couple minutes of uh, about the hardest rain you'll see. If it was whipping, obviously it's going to come in the end. But I might put a little, uh, put a little Velcro to have a little curtain to put up over the ends. But at the end, it just, uh, you see it just splashed a tiny bit inside on the ground. That's it. Anyway, there you go. Oh, I don't know the final weight on it yet, but you can, I will put that. Uh, um, anyway, I'll put that on the screen or in the, in the description, what the final weight is. Before I put the reinforcements on the corners and the ties on it was 14 ounces. All right. So, uh, one thing I almost forgot to say before I took it down was that, um, half the reason for this is not so much for the rain. But for the bug netting, because this race is in Texas, and you need bug protection down there from the fire ants and the mosquitoes. My mother-in-law lives there, and we can hardly go out of the house, especially in the evening. You know, run over to the pool in their neighborhood, and it's just, it's just uh, insane how much you get eaten just by doing just, you know, 50-yard, 100-yard walk. So. Um, Anyway, so I needed bug protection if I'm going to stop it all and, and rest it all on this thing, which I do plan to do over a four-day trip. So, um, so anyway, so it's a just a bug shelter that then, so if you want it that way, you flip it like that. And, of course, if you want to get in the easier and out, then if you're around trees, you can, you can tie this up to a tree and just have your shade or whatever. It's not connected to that the netting underneath there so that's why I did that design like that all right